hello! Today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a creative YouTuber that is trying to be a long nobody. And today it is time for my third purple video, third purple look. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I can leave my first part up here. But I want to like purple more. So I have picked out some of my purple palettes, put them in a little box and I'm trying to use these and today it is time for this one. This is Lunar Lavender. This is one of their six pan palettes. One of the latest, they came out, I can't remember when, but uh, they came out with this one and more neutral one and this isn't like super pigmented and uh, yeah but i think i know what i want to do and i think i want to do something that i not usually do so i guess we just hop into this and it has actually it has actually sh been feeling a bit strange with these videos because i'm actually have been looking forward to do a purple look so i guess i'm going coming somewhere going somewhere coming somewhere for this look i will try to Take this all over my lid and then maybe deepen down with this if it's possible because these aren't that different on the eye, which I think it's a little bit boring. And then I'm thinking to taking this one and do something that I have done a couple of times, but not like super often. And it feels kind of fun with this purple thing I'm doing right now because Today I've been actually looking forward to do this purple look and I did never thought that was going to happen and it seems like you also enjoy this series which makes me really happy and I've been talking with some of you in the comments about yeah me in purple and I it may be uh, why I haven't liked it, it's because of my undertone in my skin and uh, I have had problems with both purple and blue, a little bit more with blue but a little bit with purple as well and I guess it's the purple that leans more to the blue side that I don't like because I have a neutral undertone but I am a little bit to the warmer side if I have to choose between foundation between cold toned or warm I always take warm because I have a little bit more warm I can go with a cold tone foundation if it isn't that much and I guess just because I think at least in blue I look really really pale. It like washes me out and I guess it has to do with uh, I am warm in my undertone. But at the same time I have always... How I think about makeup is that there is no rules when it comes to makeup. I hate it when people say makeup hasn't have no rules I, I can't talk today um but you can't do this i hate when people say that and <laughs> i think i don't want to like realize that maybe for especially blue isn't my favorite and it washes me out is because it doesn't go that good with my undertone i just don't want to acknowledge that i don't want to be okay with that okay so this i usually i usually take my eyeshadows really high up maybe not this high up but i have a plan with this and it feels like i've been doing kind of short videos now for a while I don't know if it has to do with... Uh, I can't like speak English anymore. I don't know what's up with me. I know it's because I haven't been speaking English that much. 
but yeah okay I'm going in with this darker purple and I will see if this will do anything maybe a little but not that much but yeah I would like to do longer videos again but like I don't know what to talk about and putting on makeup usually doesn't take that long for me, so I don't know what to talk about. But before, like a couple of months ago, it felt like I could talk about all and nothing forever. Okay, do you see that this doesn't do that much? It bumps me out a little bit. There is a little bit of a difference between my eyes, but not that much. And I remember that people had problems with this, or was disappointed when this palette came out. This came out at the same time as Sashimi City, and uh, people were not happy about it. And I guess that I understand why, because this wasn't um, as there are the Futurism palettes that was really, really colorful. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going in with a skate pod. And I'm going to take this Mardi Gras, this one. Yeah, when this and the Sashimi... Why do I have such a problem? Sashimi City came out people weren't like super happy because it isn't as pigmented this as the other futurism and especially because it was VR neon and electro turquoise before these and those are really really pigmented and just super much payoff and everything and kaleidos were like yeah, these are more for people that doesn't want super colorful and maybe doesn't have liked our other palettes. It's for them. I get the point with that, but I still think it's a little bit off because people do love Kaleidos because it's so much payoff and so extreme colors and okay this doesn't look super great if i'm going to be honest but okay i think i will have it like this because i want to do another thing but i think i'm going to wait or maybe i should do it no i can do it now i'm going to do a trick that i saw at betty bean the first time and I have loved it since then and I have done it a couple of times myself um, but it is I don't know what to call it but you take a glitter primer you take a fluffy brush and you dab, dab. <laughs> you take this fluffy brush and dip it into the glitter primer and just stamp it a bit random over your eye and then you take the same brush dip it to the shimmer shade and stamp it so it doesn't get like you don't get a cut crease you don't get a halo eye you just get some shimmers all over and i do love that so now i just have to decide which shimmer shade i should take this more pinkish one or this with some blue in it I think maybe this one because I think I actually want kind of a light look today let the primer dip it a little bit on my hand and then just stamp it in some random places but I want to concentrate it like up in my brow and out here and then I take this one Take the same brush. I don't know how good this is for your brush, but I actually don't care. 
And then you just stamp it all over here. Something like that, if you can see anything. And what I do like about this is that it is not like super shimmery. And also it's something that you maybe don't do every day. The only thing I guess you can risk the eyeshadow a little bit with getting like glitter primer in it. And what I do like about doing this isn't it isn't like a thick layer of shimmer on my lid and it's just some specks here and there. A little bit everywhere. Okay, so this is turning out to a lighter limb maybe a little bit more pinkish look but I think I do like it so I will fix my base and then I come back with the finished look this is the finished look for my face I did use my contour stick from Isadora this old blush from Kaleidos this is in lo-fi rose I did use this one and as an highlight, I did use Mercury from Lunar Beauty. I don't know where to put everything. On my lower, on my waterline, I did use Amethyst Hour. And on my lips, I did use Dune from Kaleidos, their lip clay. So this is my third purple look. And maybe this is a little bit more pink. I... I don't know about this palette. I do like it, but at the same time, I'm not a huge fan of purple. But I feel like if you do like purple, this isn't the palette for you. I don't know. I just miss the pigmentation that Kaleidos usually have, that there is in their other palettes. So I just feel like this is missing out on things. And it bums me out that these two are so, so similar. Like on the eyes, you like can't even see a difference. I think that is really boring. I know that people did really like want a purple pal from Kaleidos. And then this came and people weren't thrilled about it. Which I can understand if you don't like, if you do like purple and have loved Kaleidos formula. So... Yeah, but yeah, that was all for this video. I hope you liked it and I don't know how many more videos. I have two palettes left in this. I have the Sweet Shop. I have these two. So Dreamy from Nabla and Cotton Candy from BH Cosmetics. So I guess it will come two videos. Maybe I'll do a good red with one of them. I don't know. But I do hope that you have liked this video and I hope that this is a little bit longer than my other videos that is like less than 10 minutes. I do really hope that I tried. And yeah, I hope that I will do longer get ready with me soon. I just need to collect my thoughts a little bit what I want to talk about but yeah I do really hope that you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one bye